Oh, open the focus to open the concession stand. Everyone, please take their seats so that we can get started. Okay, we are back on the record. Um, Hello. I understand that Trey Minsky, you had some redirect that you wanted to ask before the board then asked his, his questions. And of course, Attorney Haslam, you'll have the opportunity to recross before the board asks his questions. Ask, let me try again. Ask its questions. Attorney Leminsky. Thank you, and I will be brief. Um, am I being heard? Right? Okay. Um, you were asked a series of questions about to the nature of why did you include specific examples of behavior of situations in Mr. Uh, Peterson's annual review? Do you recall that questioning? Yes. I want to give you an open-ended opportunity to just explain. Explain to the board why you didn't break down specific examples under all of the 11 criteria set for the My experience in evaluating administrators is to clearly write our expectations and uh, observations. And during the conferences, go through examples suggestions, etc. When a professional recruiting plan is called for, then we have more specific action items in there. But every time we have that conference, every time we have an informal conversation, we have an opportunity to share examples. At any time, well, you met with Mr. Peterson to review evaluation, his PIP, or any of the meetings at thereafter. Did he indicate to you at all that he didn't understand what you were expecting of him in any of the areas where you wanted him to be? I can't recall any time when that specific conversation occurred, but any time where we needed to elaborate on that or give more examples, we did that in conversation. So again, I don't know who initiated the need for that. Um, you were asked questions about the CSIS 6 evaluation system and the evaluation criteria you utilized. Going back to that area, is there overlap between those two? Uh, evaluation tools. There is. Based on your uh, assessment as we sit here today, has the Raymond Area School District implemented CESA 6 educator effectiveness? In my opinion, and that of my team, not too familiar. I'm sorry, not what? Not too familiar. In the Raymond Area School District, completes the performance reviews of teachers. That's the responsibility of, in, in this case, Mr. Peterson, and previously, uh, Mrs. Ramona did a portion of those as well. Based 
Yes. Did you say when you're answering uh, Ms. Lipinski's question that you did not recall Mr. Peterson asking you to say no? Is that correct? Dr. Garvey, before you answer that question, Attorney Hazel, I'm just going to ask you, when you're asking a question, if you can speak directly into the microphone and not trail off the person is having trouble getting all of your questioning, and I want to make sure that she does, and so that we have a record that is after. Absolutely, and my sincere apologies and the tough job you have there, so I don't want to make it harder. Thank you. So let me ask that question again, at least so everyone can understand it, and thank you for your, your feedback. I appreciate it. So, Mr. Garvey, you were answering Ms. Lipinski's question, and you said that you couldn't recall the time when Mr. Peterson asked you for examples during the performance improvement plan. Is that correct? Is that what I heard correctly? I couldn't recall specifically the time. Did Mr. Peterson provide you with written examples of the things he was doing to improve? Yes. So in response to the performance improvement plan, he was writing to you with specific examples of the things he was doing, is that correct? Yes. Do you recall now, or are you saying you can recall specific examples? Sorry. Attorney yeah. Haslam, I think you're conflating two things. Are you asking Dr. Garvey if Mr. Peterson provided him with examples of improvement, or if Mr. Garvey or if Mr. Peterson asked Dr. Garvey for examples of what he wasn't doing? I'm asking both, and I understand exactly why that was so confusing. So Thank you. Back that up a second. In his writing, in his write-ups, where he is providing these examples of what he's doing, has he ever asked you to specify more clearly what you mean by certain things, such as the employee divide? We definitely had that conversation, yes. Did he put it in writing in all of his performance updates that he asked you, again, to clarify because he didn't understand what you were saying? I can't recall all of those responses. Last thing is that uh, you said it was important when you're answering Ms. Lipinski's question. You said it's important. The question was why you didn't write things down in the performance evaluation. And you said you thought it was important to clearly write the expectations and then to have discussions. Am I, am I paraphrasing that accurately? I think that's it. Do you think you wrote these clearly? I think I wrote the expectations. That's all I have for us. Thank you. Board members, I have not received any questions from you. To be asked of Dr. Garvey, do you have any questions of Dr. Garvey that you would like to ask? <laughs> Dr. Garvey, how many performance reviews have you given during your career? I couldn't. Is, is there an estimate of how many you've done every year? Sure, depending on the district. Um, I have to tell for you. Are you qualified in your mind to give a principal a performance evaluation? Yes. Have you applied similar standards, used a similar form for Mr. Peterson as you have for other performance evaluations used in your career? Yes. Any other questions, board members? Think back to provide a little bit more insight to the board. 
as to why there was a one-month delay in the writing of the review and then going over it with Mr. Peterson. The, uh, I guess the best response I can make on that is the date I put on there was the date that I finished the first draft and I never updated that. And so I can't tell you how long it took for my review uh, of that document and then the time of the appropriate time. That March to April time could have also involved uh, a break. And I'm not I don't have the answer to determine if that actually happened. So it was not intentional to wait up. Thank you. Any other questions for Dr. Garvey, board member? Okay, Dr. Garvey, you are released. Attorney Lubinsky, any additional witnesses? No. Thank you. Attorney Haslam, who are you calling first? I think I'll pass on the big statement. Okay, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I would like to just give a very brief, very brief vote now where we're going. Thank you. I do apologize. And most of this already out there already. My client, Mr. Peterson, is out here voluntarily. I was making him do this. He insisted on this. Putting himself out in front of this community where he grew up in. Subjecting himself to this because he feels very strongly about this. We're going to present to the board, to the community, that the evaluations, as we already did in the cross examination, are highly flawed. And that no reasonable employee should be expected, no employee should be expected to reasonably have to deal with me. Having the park pulled out of the house money, having the expectations switched before they're aware. We're going to discuss that all of the documentation behind it, from the investigation to the HYA report to the evaluations, is just pretext. It's pretext for an anti gay and this discrimination that is palpable. But most importantly, most importantly of all, we're not going to. Most importantly of all, we're going. We're going to talk about Mr. Peterson and his community. How his community supported him, how they continue to support him. And he's here right now putting himself in front of all of you, subjecting himself to this because of his love for this community and for this school. I don't think I need to speak with Mr. Garvey anymore. The board should be very happy about that. <laughs> so I will go ahead and call some witnesses. I'd like to call uh, Jess Niermeyer, who she is here. Ms. Niermeyer, we're going to need you to come up to the witness stand, please. Yeah, correct. I'm going to ask you to state and spell your name for the court reporter so she has that right in the record. And your chief voice will also um, scream. And Ms. Niermeyer, can you turn on your microphone, please? And try very hard to speak into the microphone and to wait until the attorneys are done asking the questions before answering. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> First, Ms. Niermeyer, thank you for coming today. And uh, I know this takes a lot of bravery to come up and talk in front of people on any occasion, let alone right now. So I'd like to give you a moment to explain to the community, who probably already know you very well in the board, and to me, who you are, a little bit about your background, and whatever you want to tell us about yourself and your relationship with this school and with this community. Sure. I grew up here in Raymond since I was zero years old. Went to school at Raymond, graduated, and came to teach at Raymond right away. Um, so I've been a teacher here for 23 years, and my niece and nephew go to the school, so I have lots of community ties and Raymond ties. Mr. Peterson and I actually went to elementary school together, but he was much older than me, <laughs> so I don't remember a ton about that. But my first year teaching at Raymond, he was actually a fourth grade teacher at that time. How long did you work with Mr. Peterson here at Raymond School? With him or for him? 
I don't know. When he was a teacher, two years, I think, and then he moved out to be a principal or vice principal. And then now he's been working here for two years, I think, also. So four total years I've worked with him. As a principal, would you say that Mr. Peterson was a good leader? Yes, I would. Would you say that he helped bring staff together? Yes, he had a lot of events that would put us with people that maybe we weren't even so comfortable with because we're really, you know, as an elementary and middle school, we're pretty separated and don't get out of our classrooms very much. But he always made sure he would team us up with people that we wouldn't get to see much, which was kind of nice. Was one of these events a uh, scavenger hunt or a uh, schoolhouse event? These kind of events that you're talking about? Yes, we had two different scavenger hunts in the school. Awesome. Those events make you think more highly of Mr. Peterson or, or reinforce you your, your, how, how you felt about them? Yes, they were wonderful events. Not boring like the normal in services that you know you have to kind of train your staff back from summer break. And it was something really fun to do and get to know the community and um, our playground one year and some different parts of our community. So it was really fun. And, yes. Can you explain the scavenger hunt and how it the scavenger hunt, sure. Um, that was right when we were coming back from summer, and it was a team building activity. Uh, I was on a team with three people that I never get to talk to, but it turned out I was from Raymond's, and another person on my team was from Raymond. So we did end up winning the scavenger hunt, but that doesn't sway me at all. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a bunch of questions on there. I, it was quite a while ago now, but. Some of them were like, find the spot in Raymond where the first A&W was, and find the sign that says Rustic Road, and find a tractor, all stuff that has to do with Raymond's community, the farming, the families, it brought, you know, the families together, the farm, the farm community sets together, and the staff together as well. We got to even see some of our students on the way, so it was a really fun activity. Do you notice on a day-to-day -day basis a uh, big, like, Live between the veteran and less veteran staff? No, I, not at all. No. Nope. Was there anything in the scavenger hunt list that was inappropriate? No, not that I found it appropriate at all. How many people do you think participated in the scavenger hunt? I think it was the whole teaching staff and uh, the aides and I think everybody. I think the whole almost the whole school. I was on a team with a special ed aide, an eighth grade teacher, the guidance counselor, and myself. So it was definitely not just the teaching staff. Did anybody that you talked to about this scavenger hunt uh, say anything that they thought was inappropriate about this? No, nope, everybody I talked to, oh sorry, I interrupted you. Everybody I talked to loved it. You've been wrong. Okay, okay, actually no. <laughs> um, please wait until he's done asking the question. Thank you. What was I done? Um, no, I'm just thinking okay. because <laughs> you're up here and you're here to say good things about about Mitchell Peterson and how difficult it is, and this is that's quite the waste of time, maybe. Um, do you think that if Peterson came back, it would help a divide among the staff more than it would hurt? I just don't see a divide. I, I heard that in this testimony of veteran staff versus younger staff, I think is what we're seeing. I'm not sure if I've put that. I think you said 10 years for veteran. I just, I don't see it at all. We have on our team, uh, Elaine is a younger teacher. I don't know how long she's been here, but and then the rest of us, I would say, are veteran teachers, and we do not have, there's no divide. I just, I'm not sure who would say that. Maybe I'm in La La Lands, but I don't even think there is one. If he came back, would that change? No, I think we would all still be. There's no problems between the teachers in our school that I know of. Just want to thank you for coming up here. I want to give you the opportunity. If there's anything you want to tell the community and the board members about Mr. Peterson, um, the floor is yours. Well, it is just really neat that he's from Raymond School, you know, Raymond School and grew up at Raymond, and he's part of our community. So. I always really love that, having him come back as a principal. 
That's all I have for you. Thank you. Attorney Lubinsky, do you have any questions for Mr. Meyer? No questions. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Board member, do you have any questions for Ms. Neermeyer? Ms. Neermeyer, did you take pictures in a child's bedroom as, a sca as the scavenger hunt suggested? We did not take pictures in a bedroom. We took pictures under a tree at a student's house, um, reading a book with a student. Not in the bedroom? No, not in the bedroom. Okay. And you, but you saw that the scavenger hunt suggested that you could take pictures in a child's bedroom. It said you could do under a tree or read a book to them in their room. Yes. Okay. Any other questions for Ms. Neermeyer? Okay, you're done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do I have to follow up on that briefly? briefly? Go ahead, Attorney Hansen. Did you think that the, the photo in a bedroom was inappropriate? How did you see that when you read that? I did not think anything of it, nor did anybody else say anything of it. Um, it was a time when we were really familiar with our families because we were just done with COVID, so we had to teach them in their homes, and so we really got to know the families well, and the kids would show you their houses and show you all their rooms, so and they would always be like, can I read a story on my bed? So I didn't think it was weird. Um, it didn't give me any strange feelings at all. Thank you so much. The other questions, board members. Okay, hold on one sec. Okay, you're done, Ms. Kim, right? Thank you. Attorney Allen? I'd like to call Diane Bogey. She's not here. Ms. Bogey? Ms. Bogey? Oh, she's there. She's oh. <laughs> Ms. Bogey, please come to the witness stand right over here and then state and spell your name for the court report, please. She's going to swear you in. Attorney mm. Haslam? Again, I'm going to preface this the same way I did, I did with uh, Ms. Neermeyer, which is thank you very much for being here. It's very brave to stand up this in front of people and to do it. This environment is incredible, and we appreciate you. So I'm going to ask you uh, questions about Jeff and his character. <laughs> Whatever else you would like to speak about. You don't want to answer a question, you just don't want to answer it. Because you're here voluntarily. So, Ms. Bill, you want to tell us all a little bit about yourself, your relationship with the Brigham School, and how you know, your school is. Um, I, um, I was raised in the town of Raymond. I went to school from kindergarten through eighth grade here in Raymond. When I, I graduated from Union High School, I taught here. Um, immediately after graduation, after graduating from college. Um, so I've been teaching here for 35 years. I have been teaching here at Peterson for more than 40 years probably, and have known his family just as long. I was very good friends with his sister Jill. Um, I, that's about all I can say, I can just start off. No, that, that's great. Yeah. Um, so, would you say that as the principal, Mr. Peterson was a good leader? Mr. Peterson was exemplary. Probably the best principal that we've had here at Raymond. He brought incredible things to the school. I want to let you know more. As long as you know. <laughs> he brought incredible things to the school. He started new traditions that brought our staff even more together than we are. Um, he was a great communicator. He created team leaders. Um, in which our team chose who was going to be the leader. Each team chose the leader, not Mr. Peterson. And we would meet um, monthly. He started the Panther Press, which involved pictures of kids that was wonderful for the parents to be able to see every week. Um, staff press, when we were able to 
know, gain information from him to know what, what was in the way to come. He is a team player. He gives 100, I can find that. He gives 110%. Um, he, when he is here, he is here from morning until night. He is helping out. I wrote notes because I was hoping I would get past this. <laughs> Um, well, I can hold on. I, I'm going to object to a witness reading from notes. Okay, that's fine. No, I, I don't make the decision. She does. So I just yeah. We have to have a question and answer. Yeah. So, in the event that you wanted to identify those as an exhibit, you can certainly address that. Otherwise, if you can just speak from your heart, that would be fine. All right. Um, Mr. Peterson from day one has greeted the children. He has got children names as well as staff. He greets us every day, checks in with us. He also said goodbye to the students. Um, he is here to help set up with PTO, with programs at night, um, visible in, throughout the day and with all the students. Um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say. He is, has been always professional. He is a problem solver. If there is an issue, he will come to us, the stakeholders, and ask how he can help solve an issue, like maybe it's a scheduling issue or something like that. He works it out between the staff that are involved. I guess that's what I'm saying for now. Do you think um, there's a major staff divide? In my 35 years here, I have never seen a staff divide. In fact, I feel like we embrace each other. We have programs like mentorship, where a teacher who's been here and had more experience um, partners up with somebody who hasn't had as much experience and you know, build a connection with each other, a person to go to, a person to help out. We, um, you know, they help us with best practices fresh out of school. We help them with past practices and best practices that we've seen work in the school through our experience. Um, so I don't see a divide. There are times when there's been team building activities where we have had, where we have met and been with people that maybe we don't get to work with as often as you would think maybe we know a smaller school. Do you think if Mr. Peterson returned, do you think that the environment here would improve? Yes. I'm going to ask you a couple questions. If you don't want to answer, you tell me that you don't want to answer. I don't understand. Okay. When you first met uh, Mr. Garvey, did you do a one on one meeting with him? I did a small group, the second grade teachers and the first grade teachers. Did he ever tell you anything that sounded intimidating or threatening? He did spend a lot of the time telling us about. Uh, I'm